Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Ajay and today we are going to understand the various types of arguments in Python. So the first thing that we are going to understand is the positional arguments and then we will understand the default arguments and why do we require them. Third, we are going to understand is the keyword argument and also the importance of it. And the fourth we are going to understand is the variable length argument. If you do not want to pass a fixed number of arguments and it can have a variable length. Of course, we are going to understand this with the help of the special syntax that is the star argument and double star. That is the keyword arguments. So, so both of them I'm going to explain you in this particular tutorial. So let us start this tutorial. Let us define a function first and let us have a function that is student details so this particular function is going to collect all the details of the student now this is just a small example so obviously in real world if you're collecting some information of a student you'll be collecting a lot of things like the name of the student you know the the parents name the father's name mother's name you'll be collecting the contact number but this is just a small example so we will collect only few information about the student and that will be that is the name of the student that will be the first parameter the second parameter will be the roll number of the student and then we will collect the information of the class and then the section and that's it so these are the four basic information we are going to collect from the students so I'm going to use simply a print statement to display the values that is the name of the student, roll number, class and section. So let us just do it in a proper way that is the name of the student and then I give a colon that will be the name. And uh, I will simply copy this and paste it. And then certain changes that is the roll number, I just align it properly and uh, the class of the student and then the section. So all go looks good. And over here, then I need to have those parameters. The name of the parameter is the roll number. Over here, it is the class. And over here, it is the section. So that's the only function we are going to have. And let us give the call to the function from the main program. So I'll give a call to the function that is student details. And then I will pass the arguments that the first name that I'm passing is the name of the student. The second argument is the roll number. The third argument may be that is the class, that is maybe the class age, and the section that is A. So these are the arguments that I'm passing. Now this particular argument that I'm passing is a positional argument okay that was the first point so understand that this particular argument that is the first argument will match or will be received by the first parameter so name will be received this particular value that is a J roll number will be receiving the value that is 12 class will be receiving the value that is 8 that is the class and the section will be receiving the character A. So these are the values that this particular function is going to receive that is the parameters. Okay, and then we are printing it. So let us just run this program and let us see the output. I will just save the program and now let us just see the output. So here is the output, we got a perfect output that is student name is Ajay, roll number is 12, class is 8 and section is A. So everything looks good but what if the student is a new student, a new admission. There is a student who had just enrolled in a particular school or in your school and uh, when a student is new, so basically you will only collect some basic informations like the name, the father's name, mother's name and at the most you will be just assigning a class but maybe you will be assigning the section of the student later on and the roll number is something that you will assign it later on, isn't it? So these two values I don't need to pass. So what I 
have to do over here at this point is I just need to pass zero over here and section I can simply say that not assigned and definitely this is going to work for me and you can see the output okay but we have a better solution and the better solution is having a default arguments default argument is something like I can give up some default values to the parameters so over here I can give zero and the section I can give as a now the rule that you need to understand over here in Python is all the positional parameters should come first then followed by the default arguments okay so this is the default argument I'm assigning a default value so I will just shift this and paste it over here okay and then that is the name class roll number and section so I need to pass according accordingly to that because the arguments that I need to pass is as per what I'm passing over here so first is the name and then I need to pass the class right so class will be received by this particular positional parameter since this is a positional parameter first two positions should be perfect so this should be the name and this should be the class then I need to just ignore everything over here now you can understand there are four parameters out here that is name class roll number and section understand these are the default arguments that I'm passing to this particular parameters and this should come after the positional parameters that's the rule that you need to follow now what happens is if I am passing only the name and the class so if a student is new you have just registered the student so you can just take the name and some other details and the class and the roll number and the section can be given later so section I will just make it over here that is not assigned so roll number and section I'm not assigning and only I'm passing the name and the class so by default if I'm not passing all the four the four arguments because there are four parameters so I need to pass four arguments but over here I am passing only two arguments so by default roll number will be taking the default value like zero over here and the section will be taken as the default value that is not assigned so this is where the default argument comes to picture and this is how you can use it okay now if I run this program and you can see the output of this program we got a perfect output that is I have only taken the name of the student and the class of the student roll number is yet I am not assigned and section I have not assigned so any number of students you have registered you only take the name and the class rest of the values that is zero and not assigned will be assigned automatically because that is something that we have kept default okay so that is the use of the default arguments now let's move further and understand what is keyword argument in keyword argument it is required that you need to pass the name of the variable that is there in the parameter for example over here the name of the parameter in this particular function is name so over here I need to pass the name is equal to a J and then this name of the parameter the second parameter is class so over here I will say class is equal to that is 8 okay and these two are the default arguments now what is the use of this now if I run this program okay let us just see the output first we have a perfect output that is we have used a keyword argument now uh, the keyword argument is something that the values get assigned with the name of that argument so if this variable name will be assigned exactly with this particular parameter so even if I remove this and change its position I remove this now this will be my first argument and this is my second argument but if you see the output we will still have the right output that is student name is still Ajay so if it is a positional parameter and I'm only passing the values so Ajay sorry the name parameter will receive this value and not the value that is the name of the student okay but now that I'm using the uh, keyword argument so this name will get matched with this and it is going to receive the value that is Ajay 
and class is going to receive the value that is 8. So it does not matter in uh, you know the positions that are passed in the argument. Okay, and then these are the default, you know, the default parameters, the default arguments. So this is how you're supposed to use it. And if I use the name that is roll number out here, and I pass the value that is five, and or else let us do this way. Let me just pass the section and I say A, and then I pass the roll number. Now what can be the output of this particular program? Now these are all keyword arguments. So class is going to get matched with this, name is going to get matched with this, and now I'm passing the section, okay? Section is a default uh, argument, but now I'm, that I'm passing a value, so section is going to receive this value and not the default value because over here now I'm passing the argument over here, understand it. And that too, a keyword argument. Roll number, okay, I just not given the value. So roll number I'm passing in as 10. So this is going to get matched with this one. So it is not going to take zero now since I'm now passing the value. Please understand this. So if you run this program and see the output, you will still get the perfect output. You can see that the name of the student is Ajay. Roll number I had passed 10. So it has taken 10 and not zero. Zero it will only take if I do not pass this argument. If I do not pass the argument, if I ignore this, if I remove this, okay? In that case, roll number will be taken as zero. Section, if I'm passing it A, the section will be taken as A. Now let us run this program and see the output. Now we will have name of the student is Ajay and now I'm not passing the roll number. So it has taken that default value that is zero. Class is eight and section I am passing that argument. So it is taken as A. So this is the whole working of uh, the positional parameter, default, the positional arguments, the default arguments and the keyword arguments. So let us be very much clear about it, how exactly it works works. Now let us move on to understand some special syntax. For example, I'm not aware of how many values I'm going to pass as argument to this particular function. So in that case, I have one solution. So over here I'm passing 3, but maybe in future I'm going to pass 10. I'm not sure how many arguments I'm going to pass to this particular function. So in that case, you can use a special syntax that is the star and ARGS. Now understand this ARGS, it is just a naming convention that is used that indicates arguments. You can use any name out here that is star X. But for your understanding, I'm just keeping this as ARGS that indicates that this particular star, actually the star indicates that it is a variable length argument and it has to be a non keyword argument so we cannot have a keyword arguments out here so i need to remove this and the section as well so right now i'm passing okay the name is a and uh, that is the roll number that i need to pass is 12. so i'm passing four arguments but in the future i can pass 10 arguments and this will be collected by this particular special syntax that is the star ARGS that is the arguments and it will be received these values in form of a tuple. Now please understand this is going to be a tuple. Okay, and if I have to uh, display the values of the tuples, how I can display the value of the tuple? Suppose if I'm passing the value, this will be the first value in the tuple. This will be the second value. This is the third value. That is the section and this is the roll number. So if I have to access the value, how I can access the value? So, so simple, we have to only use the index value. Now, if I say ARGS zero, which means it is going to display this, that is eight, but the student name cannot be that character. So I need to have this character. So I will give over here, that is the index value, that is one. This will be zero, one, two, and three. Over here, I need the roll number. So for roll number, I have to give, that is three 
because that's the index value. Over here, I need to give ARGS and uh, that is a class. So that is zero. That is the first index value. And over here, section. That is the second index value. The index value is two. That is zero, one, and two. Now, let us just see this output and check the output. And we have a perfect output. See, the student name is still, it is Ajay. Please understand, it matters a lot. That is that, you know, that index value. If I mess up with this, if I give this as zero and this as one, and you can see the output, we will not have that perfect output. Over here, it says student name is eight. Why? Because that's the index value. This is going to be a tuple and using that index value, we are supposed to access that. So even if I give four arguments, if I'm passing the four arguments or if I'm just passing the two arguments. So in that case, if I'm passing two arguments, then it is only going to have the index value zero and one. So I can only have zero and one. So I just need to remove this and this and you can see the output still we have that perfect output right and that's the you know the output we are not expecting but the program is running perfectly fine so this is the you know that uh, variable length argument now there is a problem that i had and the problem was just what i did before is you know if i'm only passing two values then i need to remove this because the index value three will not exist if you try to run this if you try to run this, it is going to give me an error. And the error is that the index value is saying that the tuple index out of range. Why? Because that index value 3 does not exist. So I need to do this, then I have to make changes in this. Rather than using this, we have a better solution. And that is the keyword variable length argument. And to have that, we need, we need to use this double star. Okay, and I, over here I will say keyword, that is KW, which index indicates keyword arguments. And now this particular, it is a keyword argument variable length. So over here, I need to pass the keyword, that is, this is going to be the class, and over here, this is going to be the name. So this is a keyword argument. And this values, all these values, the, both the values are going to received by these in form of a dictionary so this is going to be a dictionary and you know that dictionary has there is a peer value that is a key and the value right so this class is going to be the key and the value is going to be eight this is going to be the key and the value is going to be a j so now even if i have this so just remove all this and uh, now what I need to do is keyword ARGS and simply in this I have to write that is uh, class and that's it. And copy this and paste it. And over here I need to have that is name. So if I have name over here, so it is going to display the name and then over here I can display the class and just the student class I'll make it that's it so in this case this is going to be a dictionary so class is going to be the key and the eight this is going to be the value this is going to be the key and this is going to be the value so this is the keyword arguments in keyword arguments it is required that you pass that keyword name that the variable name and this will become the key of that particular dictionary now if i run this and you can see the output of this particular code we have a perfect output okay so this is called as the keyword arguments obviously when you're passing a keyword argument this is going to be a dictionary and the solution that i told you is if i don't want to display it in this way i can simply use a loop for i in and i say K W A R G S, and then I can print it. I can print the value that is how to access the values of the key that is K W A R G S keyword arguments and I. Now, if I run this and you can see the values, now I can access the values that is the eight that was the first value and a J. So I can use this loop and I can access all the values. Now, it does not matter even if I pass two 
3, 4 or 10 arguments, it will be received by this and then I can display it. So this is how you can do it. Yes, you can do this with the arguments also. If you have a simple variable length argument, you can still use a loop because that's just a tuple and you can display that. But this is, you know, a keyword argument is a much better option to use. So this is the argument and keyword argument. So I explained to you about the positional, uh, the positional uh, arguments and uh, the default arguments, the keyword arguments, the variable length arguments and the variable length keyword arguments. So that is all about that we have in Python. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you think you have achieved something out of my tutorial, do subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.